In today's video, we're gonna be replacing the sway bar links. Um, as I've said before, I've got the Moog uh, sway bar links on my truck. Um, I'm gonna share some signs and symptoms uh, of your sway bar links going bad, uh, what I've experienced at least, and then uh, showing you what I'm gonna be replacing it with, and then uh, actually installing them, showing you what to do, how to do it, and uh, we'll be able to have our sway, sway bar links uh, working properly. All right, so here is what we're working with. And there we have it. We've got a nice little picture on the front here installed. Then the instructions on the back. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get into it. And just so you guys know, uh, this is the D03-FEL uh, front sway bar and links, uh, the stock ride. They make a two inch uh, leveling kit um, version of it uh, to be level with that. But uh, this is just the regular stock ride height uh, from 03 to 12. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. So one of the things you're gonna be noticing if your sway bar links are going bad if they're uh, on their last leg um, is a popping noise. When you're turning the wheel left, or you're gonna be turning your wheel right, uh, you're gonna be hearing a popping, almost like a uh, something's being pulled out of the socket. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. All right, folks, so here is the actual uh, sway bar link going up uh, from here to here. Um, some of the symptoms that I've had that uh, are just, just displaying what's going on is uh, when I turn the wheel left on this left side, uh, I hear a popping noise. And as you can see uh, at the bottom side there, there's actually a, uh, it's at an angle and uh, you can, when it's, when the wheel straighten up and I on purpose uh, turn my wheel to the left so I can actually see and you can actually get a good picture of this. When I turn the wheel to the left, I hear a popping noise. And uh, when I straighten back up again, if you get underneath the vehicle, uh, you can actually move this whole assembly and shake it back and forth. And you can literally hear the knocking sound inside here where it's loose. Uh, it's coming apart. So again, this is the, the Moog, uh, the Moog uh, sway bar link. Uh, I am not a fan. Uh, I was a fan about the price. Um, I think this was like 20 or 30 bucks online. Uh, I am not thrilled with it. I am not impressed. Uh, I am I'm been let down again by Moog. So here we are replacing it with something different. And uh, so the the popping noise, uh, you can see it's actually at an angle. It's not actually lined up correctly how it should be. Uh, that's another symptom as well. And then uh, actually on the right side, it's not as bad as here, but uh, it's starting to pop on the other side as well. So when I take a turn, whether it's fast or, or slow, um, I'm hearing, hearing a popping noise and uh, hearing the whole system kind of just react to it and uh, vibrating throughout the whole system. So uh, that's a significant uh, problem when you're trying to handle your vehicle. So uh, this is what we're going to be replacing today and uh, getting into the video. All right, so now that we're set up, we've got a half inch drive with a 13 16 uh, short socket on there and then I'm going to be using a hammer to lightly uh, tap on the uh, Craftsman half inch drive uh, to get that loose and then uh, we'll go to the top side and uh, take care of that as well. So at this point uh, I've got it loose and it's spinning um, but the nut is not actually coming off of the bolt. Uh, the inside of this uh, bolt that goes into the uh, actual sway bar link. Uh, it's just spinning along with the nuts. So we're going to get some uh, some pliers here, hold on the other side and uh, break it free that way. For the top side, to get this top nut off, uh, we now have a 17 millimeter uh, nut that needs to come off and uh, we'll be using a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to be able to get this off. 
Now that we've got the top side uh, taken off, we're going to be going back to the bottom and uh, going to be hammering out right here, uh, hammering this bolt out so then we can slide this out and then drop this uh, down. Now that we have it out, I just want to show you what kind of, uh, kind of stuff we're working with here. Uh, this bolt is so binded up in here. It's loose here, but it won't even go any other direction. It is so, so bad inside there. You can, uh, before this, I actually was able to move it just a little bit more and you could actually feel things moving around inside, uh, almost like there's pieces that have been shipped off. Uh, this is a significant problem. <laughs> Uh, this should be able to move somewhat uh, uh, somewhat freely. <clears throat> you should really have to work at it, but I can't even get this thing to move. And uh, so this is a this is a problem. I had a, uh, a uh, fitting here to be able to put uh, put some lubrication inside, but uh, that was a no go on this. So we're going to be replacing this uh, like it like we thought it needed to be, and uh, go on from there. So what I've done so far is I've put. Uh, the uh, link <clears throat> connected to the top here with the top nut on there and then what I'm gonna do is pull the actual sway bar down with my hands and then I'll be able to line the uh, bottom bolt up get it through there put the nut on and then start tightening everything down so I originally tried to uh, just pull it with my hand and uh, as you may have figured that was kind of a joke so what I ended up using was my old Moog track bar, or yeah, my Moog track bar. Uh, wedged that in there underneath there and uh, was able to use that as a breaker bar, uh, no problem, and uh, got it all lined up. Uh, there's tension on everything now, so I'm gonna get the bottom bolt in, tighten it up snug. Next we have a 9 16 on the top nut and then a uh, three quarters on the bottom for that bottom socket. All right, so just a helpful thought for you. Uh, when you put the uh, first one on and then you tighten everything up, that's going to create more tension on the other side. So uh, what I had to do, and I didn't want to uh, loosen up the uh, actual uh, sway bar link <clears throat> on the first side. So what I did was, was I put boards and then a jack underneath uh, down there, uh, put the top of the jack right here, lifted up the actual sway bar, got the tension off this side, was able to then just hammer out the old Moog sway bar link. And then uh, at this point, uh, because there's tension on the other side, I was able, it's low enough now where I could just slide the top in there first and then just slide in the bottom one, uh, put on the, the bottom nut there, uh, put on the top, tighten everything up, and then we'll be good to go. So again, on this side, just got to make sure that uh, when you're tightening up the top nut, uh, the bottom's probably going to be spinning. So you're going to need to use pliers to hold uh, the bottom bolt down there that you can see just kind of dangling uh, to hold that in place so you can actually securely get it on there. Once it gets to a certain uh, strength, then you don't have to do uh, do it all the way the rest of the way. But uh, the instructions say, and, and basically universally everybody says, uh, once you start to see the rubber uh, bushings start to flex a little bit, that's when you stop and you release. You really don't want to go too far past, and if you... Um, if you uh, go too far then you don't really want to go back it's almost kind of loosening up all the the setting that you put into it uh, so uh, get it to where you start to see the bushings flex a little bit and then uh, loosen up let go and uh, you'll be set to go all right so we are fully installed it's uh, tight on the rubber bushings on this side tight on the other side and uh, we'll call it a job right here uh, make sure uh, that you just re make sure everything's tight, uh, nothing is loose, and uh, after you go down the road, just make sure go go through it. And make sure that uh, all four nuts are secured to the bolts, and uh, you'll be in business. 
All right, that'll wrap it up for the video today. Uh, I'm going to let you know how it goes in the future here as I go on uh, several more trips. Uh, kind of give you an update in uh, one of the next videos. Um, if you want to get some of these, I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, and then anything else that I have, uh, all my tools, uh, any parts that I've actually used, I've replaced with, um, I'll put those links in the description uh, as well. Uh, I've got a, one link that has all of my uh, all the tools that I've used and different things for the AC system, the emission system, um, and just general tools that I've used as well. So um, if you need any help with those, go ahead and click those links. Um, it's all good. And uh, hope this was a help to you. Uh, stay safe and uh, keep up the maintenance. God bless. Wow.